All right, everybody, how you doing today? I'm good to be back. Been out for a little bit. Computer's been down, trying to get it sorted out with a new hard drive. And loading a brand new Windows in there. Uh, had to bring it up to date. Um, there's some conflict with my old Windows. And when I did that, I had to get everything reloaded back in and everything reset up. A little bit of illness in there too. I was sick there for a while, but hey, we're back, we're ready to go. I'm gonna take these generators right here, uh, from down here in Bakersfield, up to Truckee. All right. $5 more is the light pack, so it all comes out to $28. It's 
well worth it, well worth it. A lot of customization. It runs good. Uh, I like, we all like it in the, I mean, underneath you can change the airbags from Goodyear to the other uh, Michelin or whichever kind they are. Uh, you can change the color of the shocks, axles. You can have chrome axles up under there. It's just a really nice truck all around. Really good truck. And when I get done, uh, the video to be down below. The video, uh, the link will be down below. Still a little bit out of it. Excuse me. Also got a new. What's new to us is a new part of the map. It is called the Great Midwest, and I've been driving it. Well, he's really got South Dakota and North Dakota really built up, and all down in through there. And he's working out towards uh, Indiana, I guess. I'm not sure where he's working on next. It's uh, doing a real good job at it. I've got it in there with Coast to Coast. You do have to still run Coast to Coast. But uh, the both of them together seem to run, run pretty smooth. This is some of the uh, apps on Steam, the mods, that uh, for the beacons like the Big T, those all work on here. Um, you also get, uh, there's another beacon one, uh, there's also uh, up above the cab, the lights. place and all uh, and the trailer the trailer has light nodes all the way down it you can put your lights down there and put beacons in certain places on the trailer Peterbilt on the front, I think. Yeah, I've been using that quite a bit. I guess once I stop, I'll uh, kind of show you a better view of it on how it circulates. It goes has different patterns to it. I had it set up so I'd do this one pattern. Yeah, this uh, this does come with I think about six or seven engines, motors. Um, 
right now I've got one of them in here which is the Cat C15 6NZ I think it's 840 horsepower 8 something I know that uh, truck to drive. The, get the toggles on the dash. They actually uh, activate. As you can see those two right down there on the second row. They go for the Jake. lights up there yep and when you turn the lights on watch the end of the at the end of the toggle switch when I turn the lights on the lights come on in the end of it very nice truck like I said we got get together as much as we can and do convoys on uh, convoy and uh, it works out really good really good Got a couple new uh, mods in here that I'm trying. One's a weather pack 4K. It's supposed to have uh, what about 300 skyboxes in it. So far, I'm liking it. And I also got another one. It's a uh, for trees. It's supposed to be a 4K for trees. I think it does a pretty good job on it. I also put a uh, realistic physics truck mod in here. That way you get the rocking and rolling when you go in and out of driveways and over certain bumps and hit the dips in the road. I also got the air ride. I got those off of steam. Those are all steam mods. wondering how since uh, 147 beta came out today how long it'll be in beta probably about what, six weeks maybe goes live on uh, how much longer it's going to be for Oklahoma. That's what I'm waiting for. Oklahoma.
show you some of the detailing on this truck afterwards. Take it to a shop. Yeah, got to turn the Jake off in the city. I know, I know. And for those of you who don't know, I used to be a truck driver. Drove about a 1980 uh, FLC Freightliner. Just about all over the Northwest. my content hit that like button you want to see more of my content hit that subscribe button and if you uh, like to know when I drop a new video hit that notification bell and that way you can uh, see them I appreciate every one of you watching my videos and the support without y'all I wouldn't be able to do this
nice little truck town of Truckee. I've been up there, I've been through there once when I was a little kid. Still in about uh, middle school, <laughs> junior high. correctly. I'm going to have to make a turn at this sign. Go up around. Because you can't make a direct turn into the place from here. Jackknife yourself. <laughs> making a big U-turn is Good park, good park. Let's go straight on in. Come on, miss that fence, miss that fence. skies out there that uh, 4k weather oh, look at that moon all right well hey and here's the the pattern on the front lights that they do now when I shut them off, they're just regular old lights. So yeah, I mean it uh this truck is well worth it. Like I said, this uh cab strobe lights. It's a it's a mod on steam. And you gotta set it up this way in order to do that. That different pattern. But uh yeah. Ooh. All right, hey, why don't I take a step inside and, <clears throat> yep, hey, that's it for me, it's good to be back, I hope things go smooth now, like I said, uh, I've uh, ventured out on my own now, I've got my own VTC, uh, Bears Logistics, White Bear Logistics, and, uh, I've got uh, my own truckie now. 
uh, White Bear Logistics, and I'm also on Trucks Bucks. So either way you want to run, if you just want to run, uh, come and uh, kick back and have a good time, come on down, you know, have some fun. Alright, that'll be it for me for now, so remember, keep that greasy side down and that shiny side up. And we'll see ya.